Hey yo! Welcome back, everyone, to everyone's favorite podcast, Lake City Variety. New audio. We got new audio equipment. Exactly. Yeah. It we sounds so good. Oh. It's, it's juicy. It's real nice. We hit fifteen dollars on our Patreon, and as the month went over, it all came through. The checks cashed, baby. So you know what we did? Bought a uh, one thousand dollars worth of sound equipment. Oh yeah, just went all out nuts we went nutso on it but now we sound infinitely better oh that's yeah. right so welcome to our real voices we don't sound like the fake people anymore that we used to my voice is slightly similar only because i could project to a tiny microphone across <laughs> the room <laughs> my voice is naturally a little bit high and raspy so it's really balanced out here yeah exactly it feels a lot better yeah we don't have to put all those special tuners on anything anymore but this is uh this Wait. is good are we getting an auto-tune machine next? Um, Dude, we could actually have a concert like you <laughs> wanted. That <laughs> that'd be sick. Yeah, we can either get, we can either get our uh, an auto-tuner or we can do, um, I think next up is like sound effects box. That'd be pretty sweet. Where we can plug in our audio on. That would be a bit more difficult for how I want to do it without upgrading the entire soundboard and to being able to do individual effects channels. Because I can either do all of us or none of us if we just got, like, an FX box. I mean, if we all sounded like ghosts, that'd be pretty sweet. For the five episodes that I've been here for, I don't know if that's worth it. <laughs> yeah, I think we'd have to hit uh, a little bit more on a Patreon. We did go through, or at least I did, um, I know without talking to you two about it, but I adjusted some of our Patreon levels a little bit because... Uh, we changed it to a $1 entry. Uh, we will post uh, side equipment. We might actually post up a picture of our beautiful setup, uh, either with Ooh. us or without us in it. Probably might maybe with us in it. With and that'll be on our Patreon. That'll be a Patreon exclusive uh, view of our setup. You could view all of that for a dollar. For a exactly. dollar. And you can even see the can of, is it WD-40 or... No, like that's compressed, compressed air, air because... Uh, <laughs> not <laughs> why would that be in this room? <laughs> yeah, I, you'd be surprised. Bro. I've been surprised by less. You've been, yeah, you've been surprised by a lot less. <laughs> <laughs> um, and by no, Bruno, you mean Elliot. Because by Bruno, Bruno's I mean Elliot. Oh, oh, Steph, oh, shoot. <laughs> Nothing to see here. That might be the only edited thing in this whole podcast. <laughs> the whole show. We didn't Ever. edit out our city from last episode. That definitely wasn't a slip-up I did. Or uh, every time Elliot murdered somebody. Every time Elliot murdered someone. That is 100% something show. I did not do. You, you did it, though. On the night of June 2nd, 2019, 2019. you murdered. Was that revealed? Michael. You did. Yeah, you talked <laughs> about it for uh, like an hour and a half. All right. I'd like to let everyone know that this is just gaslighting at this point. I did not see this. <laughs> You're the one gaslighting <laughs> us, Elliot. <laughs> Elliot, stop. They call me Elliot, master of rhetoric and history. And the one of rewriting history. Holy cow, Hitler, things. calm down. Anyway. No, no, that's not WD-40. That's compressed air because... Uh, the seller of this wonderful piece of equipment uh, was very, very nice. Um, actually, great guy. I talked with him for a little bit. He even uh, gave us like a listen, even if it was just for 10 minutes. Nice. I don't even know how long he listened to. but uh, Shout out. Shout out. We appreciate it. We appreciate uh, you selling us your equipment um, and shipping it to us so it could get here literally three hours before we're recording this. Um, that feels good. It's it does feel really good. great timing at this point. At this point, it's really great timing. I only had to go to Best Buy real quick because two of the cables I ordered for inputs uh, just didn't come, and they're supposed to come tomorrow now, uh, and I didn't have a long enough one. Otherwise, we'd have to have this thing set up in the office and then have longer cables run to here, which at this point looks like rough. we didn't have any longer cables. I There's a lot of cables. I grabbed the really long cables. So most of my works cables are, like, you'd think you'd have reasonable lengths, like 10 feet or 15 feet. Most of them are 25 feet. That's, which a, is that's a lot. Absurdly that's stupid. so much to have room to go. I think the cable I'm using right now is, what, an 8-foot, 6-foot cable? 8 or 10, something like that. Is it really? Maybe 8 six. or 10? It's, oh, it's coiled up on the floor here. I see that, yeah. So, it, it's like nice, snake. though. 
But uh, next episode. Why am I sitting so close to you guys? If that's how long my cable is. We'll get out of this room. Yeah, you can go to the kitchen if you want. You can just you can go to the office and go to the kitchen. Just dig in the fridge for a little bit, or the freezer. You just can't get in the basement. Yeah, if the cord doesn't go that long. Not that long. You actually might be able to barely get to the fridge. You would probably pull. There's no way. I'd have to lay with my feet on the fridge, and then speak into this room. (laughs) It's the meme. Lay the lay the mic on the floor and then just try yeah to speak and like lay on the ground yeah the linoleum <laughs> or whatever yeah that'd be pretty good it's it's so different we do ha- uh, as Andy mentioned uh, last episode uh, thanks again to our friend Samuel Anderson who was able to come <laughs> on and join us and share some really fun stories with us um, but we're looking at our waveform and since we have everything condensed before it goes into our recording interface. It's uh, it's kind of distracting, so it looks like we're not making any noise at all. But I know. it sounds a hundred times better. We've than actually it did last time. restarted a recording. Yeah, I know. Like I one, like legit restarted a recording for once, and didn't just fake restart a recording. I mean, didn't restart a recording. I mean, I mean, I've listened to our first four episodes that have been posted, and my voice has always tilted me a little bit. So this new s- this new sound is just really really. I know. Really <laughs> made me feel better <laughs> about myself personally. I know. Yeah, I, you sound way better. I've it's, listened it's back. It's the real you. And honestly, I've hated you every time. Yeah, <laughs> honestly. Honest, okay. Honestly, I hate you now. It's all right. <laughs> I'm secure. Uh, are you? Yeah. <laughs> really, you've done like your own voice for four episodes <laughs> that you agreed to do this. Are you okay? Do you need to talk about things, Elliot? Mm-hmm. Are you going through some stuff? You are on a couch right now. Yeah, psychologist. We style. can we can psych you up, except we didn't. None of us did that. Speaking of psych, what a great TV show! That is a great TV it show. It is a good TV show. Sh, comet of the top dynasty. dynasty. <laughs> well, I my cousin. Shout out to my cousin in Colorado, who I keep mentioning all the time. Put me onto that show uh, when we were on a trip out there and visiting him for Thanksgiving, and uh, I've watched it maybe five times now. It's just fantastic. Oh, I have not watched it, except bits and pieces of episodes with my good friend Elliot and uh, and both of our good friends uh, Bruno and Rachel. Yeah, honestly, those people are the best. They have people over constantly. <laughs> <laughs> they are. They share food they're really and drink. Yeah, oh they're hospitable. Yeah, they're really fantastic. They have great games like Catan. But you know what it sucks to do? Go to Elliot's house. It's real boring there. It floods. Bruno used to live at Elliot's house. I did know that. Yeah, I he left. Uh, he left his mark there in the form of a sword, I think. Oh yeah. Because uh, Rachel wouldn't let him keep it. Something along those lines. I don't think Bruno would admit that, but yeah, it's probably <laughs> it. For the same reason that my sword is no longer on the mantelpiece after uh, my wife got something that she wanted to put up there. So there you have it. It's conclusive. If you get married, you will lose all of the swords. You will lose your sword. And uh, I didn't think I was going to lose my sword because it stayed up there for two months. Nah, she was waiting for the perfect moment to just go, hey, that really cool map of the state we're from that's like done. It's uh, this guy called Lord of Maps. Shout out to him. He does uh, hand-drawn maps that look like they're straight out of the Lord of the Rings. and uh, They're really sick. That's and so cool. Like just any cool like fantasy world map that look really cool. Yeah, that and a sword up there looks really cool. You know what it is now? It's actually really cool because uh, my mother-in-law made it with my wife and my one of my wife's friends or m- and my wife's friend's mom who have been really good to us. But So it's cool, but it's no sword and map. Yeah. Yeah. So what El, El Swizzle, what's your – El Swizzle. What did you? S- <laughs> what did you call him? You've never El called me El Swizzle before. Elliot, you need to chill out a little bit. That's fine. I just. What is your form of interior decorating? My form? Yeah, well, as the only as the only single, single man uh, man in this room. I am no longer single. Oh, we're dropping uh, that today. Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Are we disclosing the undisclosed? No, we're not disclosing too much. Undisclosed person of undisclosed interest. relationship. <laughs> undisclosed <laughs> everything. Anyway, Levi, as the only single man of the You're group. You're asking me about my interior decorating Yeah, do you skills? actually interior decorate? I know you used to live with Elliot. I mean, 
<laughs> like, granted. I know there's. I know one of your roommates just has what is it? Three reptiles in a bin. Uh, no, he got rid of them because they were. Um, he wasn't excited about them anymore, which is an interesting reason. That's an interesting reason to get rid of a living creature. Yeah. Um, uh, my uh, interior uh, design <laughs> skills low, although I have big dreams and ambitions. That will probably somehow come to fruition. I have no idea. What I can't even keep a plant alive, though. I'm really sad. Uh, is th- is my wife struggles with that, too. That's why we have succulents. And I don't know if it's because I don't water it enough, or I don't put it by the sunlight enough, or what. Is but your I idea of interior decorating a bunch of plants? Is it, is well, it I just have one plant, plant and it's yeah, dying. Yeah, it's one plant. It's <laughs> currently <laughs> dying. <laughs> it's one brown plant. Why is it just not getting any more plants? I know. <laughs> Just stay away from the plants. Come on. I will. I have to. Or I'll be sad every time I go into my room. Yeah. So what do you have for decoration in your room? I mean, my walls are pretty barren right now, only because we don't have a lot to put on them, and we just haven't decided where we want to put things. That's true. But, like, as what's the play, man? Come on. As a, um, well, oh, how do we even pitch this idea? As someone who at one point in their life got a ton of flags from different countries, um, and they're just not on my wall. That's what I do. That's the play. That's um. And I actually like I it a at lot. one point, like every college student male, also had a bunch of flags, not from different countries, just from the same one. <laughs> just four flags from the same country. The good All old USSR. The yep, America I had Samoa. American Samoa, they have four <laughs> different flags. I had one of the branches of their military flags on my wall. <laughs> and the flag of their soccer team. Yep, their soccer team, which is... Uh, Want to know a fun fact that I learned from Bruno the other day? Yeah, li- share with us. So, the highest scoring <laughs> soccer game... Oh, yeah, we were all there for this, weren't yeah. we? Yeah, this yeah, was we good. Were. And was between Australia and yeah. American... American or America? American. American Samoa. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Thirty-one uh, zero. Thirty. I think <laughs> technically it was thirty-two, but there was one after yeah. the timer. But thirty-one to zero. Is that's like really bad. It was wasn't it the same year that it, the American Samoa team was created, and then some of them just hadn't played a full game yet. Well, some of them hadn't played a full game. They had existed for like a decade before. So yeah. I don't know why they were so bad. How did they not play a full game if they existed for a decade? Roster changes. Like <laughs> mid-game? <laughs> <laughs> were, they, were they only down to however many people play soccer games? Because I don't actually know. Like are in at the field at the same time? 11? Yeah, that many people. Yep, I knew that. I've been to a lot of Bruno soccer games, so I know. <laughs> yeah. So it kind of goes like... We play and we're Bruno awful. got kind of dunked on a little bit at the last soccer game, though. So we just change the whole team out and start over every time, right? That's how it works. Yeah, we, we just get new players every Reason single game. America Samoan. Exactly. They just but I think they've improved since then, so that's yeah. good. They've stopped just living off of spam and, uh, and rice and whatever, and they've maybe actually gotten a trainer. I think that they're probably top tier now. Maybe not top tier like... I, I don't believe you at all. I want your facts. This is a research show, Elliot. You know this. It's Come a developing on. country, and we were once a developing country. Yeah, but their country is a, this like a speck c- compared to our smallest state. That's true. It takes a lot. Yeah. Fun fact about our, our smallest state is uh, it's uh, the, uh, the acreage of it is the exact same size as my hometown county, as Andy in my hometown county. And uh, let's see, it has, what is it, like a hundred times the population as my home county. (laughs) You're talking about where we live right now? No, my home county. No, where we live right now is a massive county. It goes way, way up there. But like where I'm I'm from Mm -hmm. and where Andy's from, like that county is the same size as Rhode Island. That's pretty wild. Yeah, and just has a hundred times less people <laughs> living in it. <laughs> Is Which there a major city in that county? In my home county? Yeah. No. No, no, I'm from the biggest town in my home county, and it's like it's like 1,500 people. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> that's somewhere to be. <laughs> Freedom 
far as I can see. Yeah, man. We have two cops, and I know both of them personally, so that's kind of cool. Through bad experiences? Through good experiences? Uh, We will talk later. All right. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. I mean, mostly good. Uh, Criminal Paul. No, that's Elliot. We all know that's Elliot. Criminal Elliot. I mean, we got this far. That's true. I mean, I'm able to talk on a on a show and people people listen and like what I have to say usually. I don't know if they like what you have to say, but people do listen to this. We uh we did make a joke early on that we hit, you know, like top 25 of comedy on Apple Podcasts overnight. But we're actually very proud of this achievement. We had in the last month, we've been doing this ex- for just under a month now. We've had over 500 listens to this show on all of our platforms. I went through yesterday, and I just added a bunch up, up and that blows my mind. Yeah, honestly. Over 500. Some of them might be repeats. I don't know. But it blows my mind that 500 people would listen to it's not just 500 people per episode, but all episodes combined in the last month. But that's still episodes. crazy good. Like, right? huge thank you to, like, everyone who listens. Yeah, thank you yeah. so much to our listeners. This is our one-month wrap-up. Last episode. <laughs> <laughs> we bought new equipment. Now it's the end of the show. Oh, <laughs> far from <laughs> it. See you guys. No, this is no. – this is, or has it just begun? Oh, I wish I had the chords so I could plug my phone in to play that stinker of a song. <laughs> but – yeah, it's a uh, it's a huge thanks to to uh, everyone who listened, and then also to our patrons. We have a couple patrons. That's right. And with their help, we were able to not quite fully pay for our thousand dollar rig here, but we got a <laughs> step in the way. At least they're paying our credit card payment every month. Because <laughs> we got twenty four month financing on everything. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I mean. If you don't have to pay for 24 months, why would you pay? That's not what that means. Why did we buy it then? (laughs) That that doesn't mean you don't pay for it for two years. It just means you pay for it over two years. No, you don't don't pay for it ever. Zero. You put it onto another credit card. You you defunct your credit cards, (laughs) and then you just have eight different lines of credit, and you bounce the the payments between all of them because you pay each of them off with the same credit card, and that way you just never – Elliot, is this how you're paying your rent? It's an unbeatable system. It's <laughs> not, that's not true at all. It I mean, what do you mean an unbeatable <laughs> system? That's I, instant. You okay, no, sh- out instantly. No, it is. I'm considered an unrelenting force, and credit cards are a very movable object. So False. As we've watched very false. almost nine whole seasons of Supernatural together, the only reason those brothers do anything is because of credit card scams. Yeah. Much respect. I've, I've, I've learned not a lot seen from that any, show. <laughs> I've never seen any Supernatural, honestly. But Good show. You'll have to watch with us sometime. I yeah. Once you're invested, it's a great show. I don't, I don't know how I feel about it, though. I don't know if I can just get into that. I can't do much investing with my current situation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's, uh, what's your current situation, Elliot? So, welcome to the financial episode of our podcast. We have with us right now... Um, I almost said his last name, Elliot. <laughs> yeah, thank you for not doing that. <laughs> you j- so, this is in Wisconsin, we don't have financial laws, really. <laughs> that's, so ac- that's true. We can, just <laughs> 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 we can do anything. There's actually there's no way to enforce payments on anything, so you can just grab what you want and walk out. That's exactly how it works in uh, Wisconsin. Thank you, Elliot. So yeah, but then they also have like the martial law bit, where if you try to just grab stuff and walk out, they can shoot you, so you got to be pick, kind of picky choosy <laughs> what you're getting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that's my but financial the martial, advice. The martial law part of that is not like the government shooting you; it's uh, the store owner. Oh yeah, that's definitely <laughs> what I meant. <laughs> yeah, so. no, it's by martial law. I mean, it's it's more of a militia of all the citizens that are angry that you didn't pay for their goods and services, and all the beer you drank at the bar, and all the cheese you consumed. Well, if they just didn't keep giving me lines of credit, like, this is honestly their fault. Uh, n- I mean, tec- technically, because you can never be at fault for credit cards. Yeah. I mean, but if we did that, Elliot, if we're able to do that, do you mind if I just purchased, like, 
uh, $4,000 worth of chocolate in your uh, credit card, and we just call it a fraud? Being as I am, I have that much credit. Do you really? And uh, my name is Elliot. Of <laughs> course, I would love for you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's called verbal consent. <laughs> you heard it from Elliot's own mouth, everyone. That's right. We're going to buy I almost thou- said his last name, Elliot. Just said that. Elliot Rainwater. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> yeah, that's not my last name. That's that. No, that's that's Elliot's last name. Elswizzle, what you got over there? <laughs> El Swizzle. Don't call me Elswizzle. Stop Swizzle. calling him El Swizzle. That's <laughs> awful. This is the worst name of all this, time. It's bad. Come on. You know, this is, I'm going to say the tone of this has gone from the three of us surrounding a single microphone and just kind of yelling over each other. Yeah. This is way more chill. It's a good time. It's weird because it feels like we're not filling the time well, but we're doing okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're doing great, I think. Yeah, I mean... I know I've listened a lot to the show and, like, obviously been here every week. But, like, what is what is some way to, like, push it forward, you know? What's the next step in our banter? So, actually, I was really thinking about this. Um, well, not, not this specifically, but I, I, I had something I wanted to ask of you, Elliot. Um, just as someone who... As a history major with an anthropology minor, you know a lot about, (laughs) you know a lot about just, like, humanity and cultures and, like, you know, like, really the nitty gritty of, like, what it means to be people, right? And I would say yes to all of those questions. Exactly. So I wondered, um, while I was home, um, I was, like, with family (laughs) this past (laughs) weekend, (laughs) and I was, (laughs) are you okay? (laughs) Good. I just made eye contact with Elliot, <laughs> and he's uh. <laughs> <laughs> so you're at home. Yeah, in so I was Iowa. at home, and I in Iowa, and I was um in undisclosed state, <laughs> Iowa, and I was talking with my with my dad, and he was like, "Yeah, um, you know, you should really, like, you know, get your your history and anthropology friend Elliot to, to." talk a little bit um and comment on wait does your dad listen to our show uh he knows about that was part of this past weekend was apparently my whole extended family learning about the fact that i have a podcast thank you to (laughs) elizabeth's family (laughs) did they did they listen to it or do they just now know about it they now know about it um i think my fam like my close family has actually listened to it what welcome close family but Hey, um, Levi's close family, give us a follow on our Instagram, please. Uh, Instagram.com slash Lake City Variety. We will. Uh, <laughs> we, uh, we do uh, updates for episodes and stuff like that and post fun things when we hang out together sometimes. Exactly. At least we'll get into that a little bit later as we get a. Elliot, do we have your consent to take your picture and post it on the Internet? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> yes, I. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you so much. We got it. But um, anyway, so getting back into it, I was talking with my dad, and he was like, yeah, you should really get him to just speak a little bit about, um, well, because, you know, Spanish, like, people get, like, a degree in, like, um, like, you know, they major or they minor in Spanish, right? Yeah, I know. Um, I, I have a friend like that. Yep. Yeah. The, like, like no what's one around here. Like, what's people's fascination with, like, the dead language that is Spanish? You know? like <laughs> the dead language? <laughs> yeah. Like, like, people get, like, degrees in, like, Latin because they're really interested yeah, in the that's culture. Fair. Or like so, language. Like, like so you're saying... Like, the long de- forgotten, like, oligarch Russian? Like, that kind yeah, of Yeah, you like know, talk? like, 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 what's people's fascination with Spanish? And, like... Well, Spanish is far from a dead language. I would say that that is No, I think at least only three people speak it, so that's about it. Well... And all of them are professors, so no one really speaks Spanish. That's that's fair. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, so there's that. But also, I think, like, the fascination really comes from, like, how – what's your heritage, you know? Like, people from those places sure. really love learning about, like, the – the language of where they're from, I believe you 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 uh over there p- 
Pinky Swizzle. Oh. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is new for you. Why do you do this? <laughs> I just really thought we should. I was. I'm swizzling tonight. I don't know. So anyway, swizzle. you were saying it's great to swizzle. But like you, you hail from Scotland, yes. So yeah, that's 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 kind of it. Yeah. But like you carry some of that language with you, right? The, the like dead language of Scottish. The dead, the 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 dead, dead language of Scots Gaelic. Yeah. That I did. De- de- yeah. Now you're proving a point, and I definitely didn't take a year and a half of it. Yeah, see? <laughs> <laughs> these languages. And since I am in, like, private personal and since online I study. I am a major in history and anthropology, I clearly Screw know you, Elliot. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look at the kilt in the closet, okay? That's what I got for you. Great. And yeah. as, as someone who's um, just spent a little bit of time... Frick you, Elliot. Um... <laughs> Like learning this language, uh, is there something like a like a phrase you'd want to teach us today in Spanish? Yeah. Oh, you didn't even men- like mention how good I am at Spanish. Yeah, you're at least like um, half decent. Yes. So there is one th- thing I would like to say to all of our listeners this week, um, and it just brings me back to Psych. <laughs> me amo Carlton Lasseter. <laughs> <laughs> me gusta queso. <laughs> there you have it. That's what I got. That's what you got. All right. That's beautiful. That's that's beautiful. Um, yeah, that was cool. Um, going into like more of perspective and like fields of study and stuff like that. But I think it's time we turn to current events. Are there current events? Current events. Wow. Uh, my our friend Bruno was over here earlier today. Um, and he and I just were watching, uh, just random YouTube on TV because that's w- what's fun when y- you, uh, get away from your, w- not get away from your wife, but when your wife is busy doing something else and you're stuck home alone and you're like, Hey, what if my friend whose wife is also busy came over <laughs> and we did something together? Nice. I wouldn't know what it's like to be married, but that sounds about right. Yeah. You'll <laughs> kn- maybe you'll know soon. Maybe not. Who knows? I'll tell you when you're older. <laughs> that was a for all of you uh, outside of the visual media. That was a saucy wink. Given Still waiting on a real camera Elliot from work. To Levi over here. So no idea on when we actually get video, and if we do video, it'll be interesting because well, I mean, you did give us consent to take your picture, but do we have consent to take your video, Elliot? Uh, uh now that time. we're bringing up b- both of those subjects again, that's great. I don't feel as though I have like, I'm not in my right place right now to be able to give that kind of space to you <laughs> peace whistle so <laughs> <laughs> just a, a ra- well, we'll do a rainwater check a on rain uh, water. I, see. <laughs> I see that's on pretty good that's good it is good on the video I'll, in I'll picture the check. yeah that's good um anyway back to current events so one thing we saw uh was uh the olympics in japan that's happening now. No one's really watching it because no one really cares, right? No one watches the Olympics. Well, I don't have cable. Well, it's free on YouTube, but that's that means none of us are still watching it because we'd rather watch anything else on YouTube. You can watch it on YouTube? I think so. I, if it costs money, I didn't know that because they say you can watch it for free when I, that pop-up comes up every single time I'm on YouTube. What? But they have, like, s- it's just so many it's ads and the videos are so scattered. Like, you can't really watch. It's so oh, hard to find. Oh, is it just actual like trash? And you yeah, can't it's just, it. like, highlights of a bunch of stuff. That, so I don't know. That's actual trash. If I was going to watch the Olympics, the last time I watched the Olympics was when my dad, my brother, and uh, several friends of ours were going up to the Boundary Waters, and we stopped at Sven and Oli's Pizza Place. I've heard it's fantastic. It's uh, I mean, it's got some hype to it. Yeah. Don't buy into it too much, but if you're just there for decent pizza, yeah, it's good pizza. All right. Um, the r- if you like the bready pizza, it's the pizza for you. Uh, I personally like... Um, if you say pizza ranch, I'm actually going to... No, pizza mind. ranch is like, I- if I eat more like than six slices of that, I'll, I'll actually die. <laughs> if I eat three slices of that, I feel bad. If I eat six, I'll die. Um, pizza ranch is how you like ascend into heaven. The more you have, the higher you are. Uh, I don't know. No, <laughs> that's <laughs> blasphemy. That's blaspheming. Um, no, uh, like, uh, oh, what's that uh, pizza called? That's they got down at the, uh, you kn- you know where. Um, uh, but it's at that thin in the middle. It's all about the bread. It's that real Italian stuff. I think it's like margarita pizza. Are you, are you just talking about like 
I really don't. Dominoes? Know what you're about. No, no. Dominoes is, is like it's toppers. No, no. Pizza it, Hut. No, it's Little got, it has one location. It's Wood Fire Pizza. Oh, Vita Pizza. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like the it's like, like the little like personal pan pizzas, like pan. That's not. They're not like personal pan pizzas. It's like margarita pizza, which means it's thin. It's it's yeah. like, it's, like it's all about, it's about it's the like bread. A, a it's about the pizza. experience of the bread and like the sauce and the cheese. Are you sound not like a ratatouille right now. Shut up! That rat was good at cooking, and I <laughs> aspire to be him. I have a pork loin in the freezer that I'm gonna cook up this week, hopefully. <laughs> you shut your mouth about that rat. He taught me everything I knew. It was a good movie. Gordon Ramsay's got a rat underneath his hat, and that's how he's good at cooking. Dude, that was a good movie. Yeah. You know what I used to watch when I was a kid for fun? Alton Brown's Good Eats. Just episode after episode of Good Eats on the Food Network. That's that guy's name is Alton Brown? Alton Brown, the guy from Chopped. He's got like yeah. the kind of wispy hair and the yeah. glasses. Yeah, that's Alton Brown. Dude, we would watch Good Eats. Um, my like extra credit, like, dude, I got to relax from school all day in high school was like... Oh frick! Like all the food classes. Yeah, home ec and, and whatever. And yeah, home ec, and we, we would like we would F-A-C-E watch that guy. Yeah, Alton Brown is F A C E. You called it face. Yeah, that was, was the name face. of your well, class. What's facts? It is food and consumer crafting. Science. Yeah, com- food, food and consumer education is what it was. Face. Well, that makes me feel really we stupid that facts. I didn't get that. Food and compute. Not computer. Um, <laughs> food and computer education. It's consumer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah consumer, it's consumer science. Edu- yeah. Cons- no, not science because well, that would we be. We called it science. Yeah, we didn't do that. I think we called it science. Um, yeah. We had a point. I did, did you have a point? I, d- I don't know. Oh, you were, you were talking about going to Sam and Oli's at one point. Sven and Oli's. Yeah, that one. <laughs> Wait, what about Vita Pizza? Vita Pizza is good. It's about the bread. It's about like the flavor of the That's bread right. and how it rises God and here. how it bakes and that kind of stuff. And that I like that kind of pizza. But if you want like a nice like, it's got a bit of dough to it and the toppings are good. That's the, that's Ben and Oli's. Okay. So it's it's not it's not my favorite, but it's up there. It's like I give it like a I give it a six out of ten. And you guys who know me, know that that's like real good. Mm-hmm. Have yeah. you ever had anything that is a nine out of ten? Uh, I'd give Vita Pizza like an eight out of ten. Okay. All right. Yeah, that's cool. That's spicy. All right. Um, I'd have to go to P- Pizza Luce again. But that one, like, I went to w- once or twice. And yep. that one's, a, like, it's the expensive one. So no one really goes there that often unless you're a tourist. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think that one, I th- from what I remember, that one was pretty good. But I think it's, again, more about, like, the toppings and not about the dough. Mm-hmm. And if I'm going to get a pizza like that, I'd have to get something that's all about the bread. So. Yeah. 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 I mean, I've had good pizza i went to new york and ran wild for a week and all i did was just buy pizza no but <laughs> i mean that's not all i did but i did a lot of just buying pizza new york's expensive it wasn't too bad when i went though really there's a lot of dollar slice places that's good mm-hmm. but those places are funny because it's like yeah how much for a slice it's like uh, or for a cheese slice it's like a uh, buck and then you go okay give me a pie and they're like 2250 it's like well how many slices are in a pie eight <laughs> what do you mean it's twenty two fifty? Can I have eight slices? Can I have eight slices? <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, why dude, you need to barter them harder. Why is it why is a cheese pie twenty two fifty? Can I get it for six fifty? Can I I'll give you seven <laughs> plus tax. I will <laughs> trade you two sheep for your piece of pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Just dragging two sheep down here. Just through Manhattan. I would like to build a settlement out of your pizza. Build us a whole <laughs> settlement. I claim this land. In the name of my your pizza. <laughs> <laughs> I have the orange color and the high ground. Oh <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to current events. Uh, the Olympics. Um, they announced they were doing cardboard beds. Beds made out of cardboard for the athletes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Bruno was talking to me about this as he was leaving. And what a crazy thing. I didn't know that that even existed. They're cardboard beds. Cardboard beds, and so are they homeless? No, well, no. <laughs> it's not like it's not like the refrigerator box that you could just like sleep inside of. It's like the like the bed frame is made out of cardboard. And so okay. what they first announced it as is at least on the Twitter that I saw the tweets was is that it was to prevent Olympic athletes from doing the deed, from doing the the you know what uh, from. Yeah from procreating 
on the beds. Because it would break the cardboard? Well, because if you tried to procreate on them, they would break the cardboard. And it said, it's the tweet said, would hold one person's body weight. Or w- one person's weight, but not two. And here's my issue with that. You guys, uh, you guys are not as big as I am. You guys are tall. I'm a distance runner, man. I don't weigh a lot. Yeah, you kay. don't weigh a lot. And so I'm a sitting runner. I don't run by sitting. And sit. I am, I, at some point in time, used to lift weights, and now I'm fat. <laughs> I, I w- I'm what you would call regular obese. Uh, <laughs> um, so what what is would hold one person's weight? Because I w- am much larger and weigh much more than your average person. I'm not a giant because I'm not like 6'8 and 400 pounds, but I am 6'5 and 300 pounds. And if I'm 6'5 and 300 pounds, I know distance runners who weigh less than half of that. Yeah. So two of them on the bed, is that fine? But as soon as I lay my butt down on top of it, it just crumbles in half because they think I'm more than one person. Like, how do they do the – there's weightlifters in the Olympics. There's wrestlers, swimmers. They're like 6'9". They're massive people. They don't weigh a whole lot, but they're 6'9". You know? It's like, true. they have a lot of muscle on them. How do you judge what's <laughs> – like, you know, like gymnasts, you like female gymnasts are tiny. They're tiny, tiny people. Even male gymnasts are tiny, tiny people. Mm-hmm. Have you seen the Russian guy, like the Slavic bodybuilder? Not bodybuilder, but a uh, professional weightlifter that's in there? No. Mm-hmm. He's massive. He's huge. <laughs> he looks like he's a fat piece of garbage, but he's like the s- insanely jacked. He's yoked. I but mean, he, you know, I guarantee he's like 380 pounds. How is he sleeping on a cardboard bed? Is he sleeping on the floor in the corner because I couldn't make a bed big enough for them? No. People in Japan are tiny? I actually, I actually have the perfect response to this. All right. When they had to like... Re- like sign up for the Olympics or say who was coming, they had to give like height, weight, probably some sort of like physical like description of the person, right? So like a rando couldn't take your place. So yeah, so like a rando couldn't take your place. And when they get there, they had them custom sized cardboard beds for them. So if let's but say if doing I walked in, there's like a fairly long bed. It can hold a medium weight individual. It's like a pretty medium piece of cardboard. Where Peace Whistle, if you walk in, it's a pretty large bed made out of cardboard. It has some thick side beams of cardboard just But at some point, if you have thick enough side beams, then it doesn't matter how many people you have on the bed. That's, so the, like p- that's the point I'm getting to. Yeah. Is because but if it can support me, it can at least support a little bit more than me. So That's my point. I'm confused, though. Because it's like a mattress on cardboard, right? Yeah, well, it, it's like it's like a, maybe like a cot on cardboard, something like that. They, they they later said they had like a TikTok, which I don't have TikTok, but okay. I saw it on the YouTube's. <coughs> is uh, they were doing, uh, they did it to like save beds and like be able to get rid of stuff from the coronavirus because they don't trust big pharma and they have their own like government one, which I don't, th- I don't personally believe that having a government one is better than having a big pharma one. But get vaccinated if you want to. Don't if you don't want to. It's up to you. That's that's my honest opinion. Do what you want. <laughs> Have fun. You can disagree all you want, Elliot. Elliot personally disagrees with this statement. You probably should get vaccinated and help <laughs> the other population. Else, well, yeah, you yeah, were yeah. gonna say something. <laughs> no, if 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 you were, if, if, <laughs> yeah, okay, we can we can have this debate. Um. Welcome if you, if everybody. Yes, Ding herd, Im- herd immunity is a thing. Vaccines do work. But if you personally, d- I'm not saying I'm not vaccinated. Yeah. I'm not saying I am vaccinated. That's, that's my own choice, and that's my for me to say to whoever I want to say. I'm not going to say it on this podcast. Um, you know, I personally just don't like the government in general, but that doesn't mean that sometimes they don't have useful tips. I'm just saying, yes, it's good if a bunch of people like yeah let's every like 90 percent of people have the polio vaccine right not 90 it's more than that mm-hmm. and because of that polio almost doesn't exist it's not to say there's no polio cases because there's some people that are allergic to the vaccine can't they get it and they depend on the rest of everyone to not get it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but i'm not saying that doesn't exist i'm not mm-hmm. saying it's like not a good thing for you to get a vaccine i'm just saying if you don't want to get one no one should have to force you to get one yeah absolutely yeah, right. that's that's my that's it. That's my opinion. Anyway, Levi, back to you. <laughs> what was I talking about? That's a good question. Something about beds at yeah, the Olympics. The beds. 
That's the only thing. That's right. Well, my thought was just if the cardboard breaks and it's on the ground, what's the difference between it being on cardboard and it being on the ground? Because if I know anything about Olympic athletes, yeah. they lack determination. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good one, E. Good job. That was really good. <laughs> You're right. Wow, that was beautiful. Oh, you know what? I want to hear about you guys' just summer hobbies. What do you do in such a time as this, as Esther would say? Levi, you can go first. I've been talking a lot lately. Ah, uh, summer hobbies. I've done so much this summer. I don't believe you. I haven't actually done a I lot. I don't think you've done anything. I think you've played cyberpunk and that's it. I have not actually booted up Cyberpunk in like what? eight months, so there's that. Um, I want to claim it doesn't work and refund it. So, <laughs> um, even though you put eighty five hours into it in a week, yeah, I think so. Actually, <laughs> it was kind of fun. <laughs> also, pretty railroady. Yeah, Anyways, that's fair. Um, summer hobbies mainly have consisted of chess. That is what I've done a lot of, at least recently. Yeah, you guys, both of you guys, are big chess people. That's right. The big E shizzle is yeah. a e -shizzle. what a great <laughs> the big E shisa is a big chess piece. <laughs> I like to use uh, the strategy where I win mentally um, most of my games. Don't bring this up. I'm Don't I am bring this up. Don't bring this up. So one of our one of our <laughs> close friends, Bruno, <laughs> uh, <laughs> played this chess game against Levi that really inspired me personally. Uh, it should inspire you. <laughs> And it was dumb. We played on this. <laughs> we played on. We played I, this way, I, think awesome I don't think Bruno plays chess normally. I don't think. Oh, but he's good Is in he? a really Bruno kind of <laughs> way. So there's this chess app where you can play chess against each other and like set times like where. Isn't that you just chess.com? Sure. Yes. <laughs> and you have to play like a move every two days or something, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm. I'm, like, watching this game unfold between the two of them. Yeah, okay. And yeah. Bruno is losing terribly, just <laughs> awful, down to, like, just his king, I think. I think That's so, yeah. There's just no way it you was can come back. There's no way you can Oh, come Bruno back won this game. How? So Bruno gets it in his, eye. In his brilliant mind. <laughs> He's going to move once every 47 hours. <laughs> <laughs> once every 47 hours. Isn't it, like, two days and it times out? Yeah, like exactly. Yeah. <laughs> if you move and once every two days. And what what else did he do? He offered him a stalemate every time he moved. So <laughs> 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 Levi El Swizzle, tell me what you did. I resigned that game because it wasn't a draw. I was it mentally destroyed. Wow. Bruno won that game. Wow. I don't know if that's the win. You you resigned. I resigned. You let him because have that because it wasn't a draw. <sighs> that's awful. I I mm, I would hate that. I play um, I play I word play with Bruno word anymore. chums, which is like <laughs> it's like words with friends and like Scrabble and like whatever. It's just Scrabble. Yeah. But it's on an interface that I really like. It's on an app that I play with my dad sometimes, and uh, I don't know words. I don't. I'm not a smudge person anymore. I. <laughs> You almost have a college degree. I have half a college degree. That's right. That's um, that. I have half a college degree in chemistry and biology because for some reason, when I decided to attend Lake City University, I went, hey, you know what's a really good, fun thing I should do? I was really good at chemistry in high school, and I really liked biology. What if I just did a double major in chemistry and biology, and at that point, I, at like my sophomore year, I looked at it and I was like, you know, if I took two more classes, I could just have a triple major in chemistry, biology, and biochemistry. <laughs> and then I yeah, went, that's sick. oh, man, this got really, really hard suddenly, really quick. <laughs> 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 oh, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and so I was like, well, I was actually with Elliot, with, with Elliot when, I, uh, when, I saw, when I decided this, but I was like, yeah, um, don't know if I'm gonna come back next year. I think I'm gonna take some time. And I said, "That's okay, big guy." Yeah, you said it exactly like that too. Um, 
But then, uh, yeah, like, I, I went to go work my summer job at a camp, and then, like, after that, it was just gone, and uh, didn't tell my friends, and I feel bad about it. I feel sorry. It's okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. But I'm back now. I'm back. Hi. Yeah. Yeah. It only took a year. Prodigal son returns. I moved you back in. Yeah, Those you did. You moved me out and moved me uh, in. With Elliot. Yeah. Moved that desk is a killer, isn't it? Dude, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> I almost died. It's uh, I have a wonderful. I got it from my mom because she got a like a big, like corner desk for her uh, home office, and it works really well for her. But I have an old like desk banker desk, metal. It's uh. Oh, that was a pop. Stop shaking that. I'm so sorry. Okay, that was actually his chair, I think. That's not his chair, unless he was on top of the cable. He was literally inside of the cable. I am inside <laughs> the cable no. right now. That was Much apologies for that It was static, pop. or it was you shaking it, and it hurt a lot. <laughs> anyway. Um, yeah, big old desk. It's just steel. It's like rolled steel. It's heavy as frick. And it's a pain in the buns to disassemble. That's right. And it took three of us to figure out how to move it one time. As you're climbing around in that thing, trying to, like, piece together, like, how it all comes apart, you really just see your whole life just uh. in the blue steel. <laughs> steel. Yeah, we really lost our life to that desk, huh? <laughs> You really got sucked in a little bit. What? All right, he's gone. Okay, he's gone. What happened? You were thinking about the desk and don't think about it again, or else you're going to lose it. Okay, I won't. All right. <laughs> um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a rough one. Peace Wizzle? Yes? What did you do this summer? Oh, um, uh, <laughs> I've been very, very busy with a lot of things this summer, um, I got married in May to my beautiful Ooh. wife who got home just a little bit ago. You might have heard her c- come in on the window with the door. Actually, you might not have because these mics are actually really nice and only pick up in a small area. Yeah. As it's opposed actually to our last really one. good. It's actually really nice. But we can't have any more uh, Seinfeld Kramer moments where someone f- crams into the door like you did uh, last week, Elliot. Um, I mid-show. Really unbalanced. Yeah. Um, we could so attach a mic to the door if we wanted. <laughs> we do. We, we have enough inputs where we could do that if we wanted to. Um, because what do we have? Like, what is the twelve channel mixer? Which is, it just means it's six inputs, with a balanceable left and right output, and that's. So I can make it sound like here, Elliot. Give it a give it a talk. I'll see if I can make it come out of just, uh, my, right ear. Okay, I'm not sure. Yeah, you're what just <laughs> you're just in my right ear now, and that everyone Why? really appreciates you just in one ear. I don't know how I'm doing this, but the guy on the left, he's probably a big renob. Are you sure about that? You're on the left now. All right, I'm the renob. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> <laughs> no. And now you're back. All right. All right. <laughs> Everyone's gonna love that, but I get to play around with the new soundboard, so it's it's we. P- I paid for it. Because I haven't asked you guys to pay for anything yet, because I feel that's unfair to you guys. Um, so I paid for it. I, I would do love. What I, want I would it. love to help pay. Elliot, me, would love to help pay for any expenses that occur on this show. Yeah, with all of his rotating credit card debt. <laughs> for all of my. <laughs> 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 just, just add this into it. <laughs> we'll see what I can do. All right, thank you. Do you just have one card that's paid off every month, and, the, and then you have like six other cards, and you just rotate them? No, I have one card that I like use to pay for stuff, right? Mm-hmm. And yeah. then I send that card throughout the month to like several different credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've heard of that working. I just don't know how long you can make it work. Eventually, you run out of credit. Or the credit runs out credit of you. <laughs> 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 I have uh, so much credit built up from all of my schooling. So much extra credit is there. That's right. From yep. everything that I've turned <laughs> I don't know. You have extra credit. <laughs> 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 you, 
be like me in high school chemistry. I had 188 percent in the class. <laughs> exactly. High school chemistry what? two. I had an AP chemistry, chemistry two, high school chemistry, which is why I went to college for chemistry because I thought I was good at it. Um, yeah. We there was a very rare opportunity for extra credit, but it was competition, and the first person who got the right answer got the extra credit points. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Always me. Nah. I think I missed one of them, and it's because I just didn't go to class that day. Nice. I had so much extra credit to the point where I didn't have to show up to that class for the last month, and I still would have had an A. Wow. Like, no Dude. final, no s- no third midterm or anything like that. Just not show up, and I still would have had an A. But you didn't do that. I didn't do that, no. I um, In fact, I set a record for the fastest time taken on the final. It was 120 points questions okay 100 multiple choice and then like 20 um like balancing not balancing like five balancing equations and then like other nomenclature stuff and like identification and like is this chiral is it a chiral remember that one time when we were doing small group and uh gabe and i spent like 30 minutes arguing about if something was chiral on the board or not i was that what the heck is chiral? Chiral is uh, the formation of is it of of the structure of how it. Uh, <sighs> I could tell you better like two years ago, um, but like how its energies make it line up, and how it looks. It's basically its appearance. It's not just appearance, but th- that as basic as I'm going to tell you right now, okay. it's it, it depends mostly on appearance and um and energy balance. So I have a question for you. I have an answer for you probably. Um, so it's based, it's like its appearance, its form. Um, is there like a, is there like a, like a Hollywood or an American, like, appearance that these have to conform to, that it's like the beauty standard of the chemical compounds? So are you asking as, as a, like a joke of what, like what celebrity answer you want? Or are you asking this as like, is there like a gold standard for how things should act chemically? Yes. So the second one? Yeah. Okay. Um, in most cases, yes, there are rules to how things act, um, especially in organic chemistry, which is what I focused on mm-hmm. mostly. Um, it's how, like if you have this benzene ring, with a methyl compound on it. This is an example. It's just draw a hexagon in your mind yep. and then add a little stick to one end, a small mm-hmm. stick with mm-hmm. one, just one little dot at the end. Mm-hmm. Um, if you mix that with X compound in like liquid or acid or whatever, will that A, replace the methyl or B, find a place next to it on the m- next to the methyl or find a place not next to the methyl but also mm-hmm. not on the opposite end because that's not balanced either. Yeah. It's like... It depends on the compound. It depends on how you apply it. It, it. Like all these different things. But yes, everything has a way of how its energy balances out and how uh, the electrons interact in a whole with each other for how things look. Yeah. So yes, there is a standard. Like water will always look the way it is. Um, it's true. You know, um, trinitrobenzene will always. I mean, that's not. Don't uh, that's I'm speaking out of my butt right now. Um, <laughs> nice, but <sighs> what am I? What am I thinking of? Like sugar, mm-hmm. like um, C six H twelve O six. Yeah, we'll always Woo! we'll always whoa, 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 whoa. all uh, that sugar will always look the same. Yeah, okay. um, yeah. and that's like is that chiral or is it a chiral? It's like it's th- chiral, right? Do you do? I'd have to look at it. I don't have it. To st- I, it's been two years since I've had to like look at stuff like that. Mm-hmm. For all of you at home. Peace Wizzle confirms it is Cairo. <sighs> oh, gosh. Shut up, Elliot. It's not like you were in that class at all. <laughs> None of you guys were in that class with me. I had That was my own thing. It's true. It's true. I took almost no chemistry courses. Yeah, I took eight in my two years. I also took almost no chemistry courses. You guys courses. each take, like, Gen Chem 1 or something like that? That's right. It is the only class that I've ever actually wanted to fall asleep in in my life. What? Are you kidding me? Gen yes. Chem was amazing. Oh, I organic chemistry. Organic chemistry was amazing. I, I love that class. I had the worst class. teacher of all time. Um, I have, I, I suck in lecture sometimes because me, I like to listen to podcasts because they're funny. Yeah. But like sitting in a lecture table, drawing notes, and then just listening to some guy drain on and on and on and on and on and on, three times a week, 
for 15 weeks is awful to me. I really like doing the hands-on aspect of chemistry. Most mm-hmm. Actually, I'll give you this statistic. And this one, I did run, and I found my p-value to be less than 0.5. Nice. 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 That's, nice. Really that's, that's, really that's always good, my statistical analysis. Uh, about 87% of all chemistry students that I questioned, because I questioned my friends and a few of their friends, mm. not everyone, not every chemistry student in the school, just like like the 20 people or so that I asked. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 87% of them prefer lecture and hate lab. Really? And then like another 10% find it like even split. That last little t- 3% is like me and one friend. We love lab, hate lecture. I don't know what it is about chemists who think they can spend their entire life looking at books and doing theory that makes it fun, mm. but that is the worst thing I've ever heard. That's for people who are dumb and like math. Math is fun when you get applied math, like, you know, physics, not just like, oh, book physics, Mm -hmm. hands-on physics, like what you do, Levi, you know, doing Mm -hmm. applied physics and things like that. That's cool. Doing applied science, applied math, chemistry, really fun. Sitting and staring at a book to add things together to say, oh, in theory, that'll work. Ugh, (laughs) shoot me. That is the most (laughs) boring thing. I could ever think to do with my time. Let me sit in a lab with a bunch of glass equipment and just eyeball stuff, mm. blow things up. Th- like not, a, not even just trying to figure out how things work. That's fun. I would do that every day for the rest of my life if I can get a job doing that. That's why I'm going to discover the Ark of the Covenant and the Holy Grail. All right, Indy, on it. Actually, though, speaking about your purview, I just wanted to ask. I had this like errant thought. Yeah. Um, more along the lines of this history and anthropology degree that you that you hold, um, I'm very much proud of. So yeah, like, do you know? So you kind of might have said a little bit of, but like, can you shed a little more light on the the dead language of, of USSR? USSR of USSR? Of USSR? Yeah, that is a dead language. Right. Um, because like, you know, people don't speak USSR anymore. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That there's a lot of things in that <laughs> wrapped up in that question, <laughs> but. Uh, how I would respond is, like, think about it as in, Levi, tear down that question. <laughs> and I think there's no better answer than that. Yeah. I think I love standing in the tradition of Gorbachev right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it's it so much. It's a sweet parallel. You have the same birthmark, too. A face? The, the have you not seen Gorbachev's? No, <laughs> it's it's horrendous. I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> don't say I have a horrendous <laughs> birthmark. It's like it's awful. I don't. <laughs> Mr. Not Gorbachev. that there's anything bad with having a birthmark. Gorbachev's Bruno birthmark would feel <laughs> deeply <laughs> hurt. Uh, it's the birth of Marx, is what they could call it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a pretty good one. <laughs> I stole that one from Epic Rap Battles of History, so that's not my own thing. Nice. Oh, it. Looks like the state of Florida <laughs> is on his head. <laughs> he's got a he's got a he's got a schlong on his face. Yeah, oh, well that's sad. But he's also got uh, like an unfortunate bald pattern that shows it off. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's true. really unfortunate. Yeah, that almost might be a toupee kind of scenario. I think so. But it also goes down above his eye. So but at that point, can you hide it? He's yeah. still alive though, right? He's just like a retired person in Russia at this point. Is he? I think I didn't so. I don't think he's still alive. I thought, have I, thought so I thought Putin old. would have had him killed. No. Hold on. Is he alive? Right. No way is he alive. Former Soviet leader yeah, uh, he did Mikhail a Gorbachev ad. celebrates 90th birthday. <laughs> he did in a twenty pizza <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Have you seen his pizza hut? No hat? way is he living. <laughs> no way. Do you want to see his pizza hut ad? Uh, we'll save that one for our bonus. And uh, right now it's it's time to uh, it's time to wrap up. Oh, oh man, it's already that time, huh? It's it's looks already like we that have to time. record the bonus episode. We actually, I the think bonus we're gonna record minute. the bonus episode tonight. Uh, just we're gonna do maybe a half hour trial, if not a little bit more. But we'll have uh, Elliot has to get going. But we'll have special guest Bruno. He is coming back. He will be joining us. Yes. For our uh, 
for our first ever bonus, which will be Patreon locked. Uh, Patreon.com slash Lake City Variety. A dollar a month gets you access to all our premium content. We have, uh, if you feel like donating more, you can donate more. If you don't, that's okay. We just have a bill that we're going to slough off on you guys so you can pay for our equipment and not that we have to pay for it anymore. That's right. And we're just happy to to be together to provide some entertainment for those out there who just need a little something something just and a little something honestly, special in their life if they want to hear uh, like someone who s- actually slept in chemistry class talk about chemistry like they n- still know things about it and are probably wrong and if there's any of you that are in the comments on YouTube or in uh, Apple or anything like that feel free to call me out cuz you know what I am probably wrong. You know what? I, I like it's it's not gonna be great. I'm probably wrong. But I also have fun doing it, so shut up. <laughs> I've made several histor historical and anthropological um assessments throughout the course of this evening, so that's correct. Yeah. Um anyway, give us a follow on our Instagram excuse me, Instagram. <laughs> Instagram.com slash Lake City Variety. We are available on Apple Podcast, uh, Anchor. Thanks again, Anchor, this week. We might actually have to record that, re-record that ad with new equipment now, so it actually sounds Ooh. nice. Ooh. Right? How tempting would that be? And then uh, on our Spotify, you can give us a follow on our Spotify. Uh, all links are on anchor.fm slash Lake City Variety. Um, all links are through there. We don't have a custom YouTube URL, but we are on YouTube if you give us a search. The last four episodes are up there. Um, this one will be going up um, as soon as we are able to. We upload every Tuesday. Mm, so please true. come join us. Um, join our growing army of uh, swimmers in our lake. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever we want to call and, them. Uh, we're the lifeguards. We are uh, formerly lifeguards. Exactly. Um, thanks again to our patrons. Um, huge thanks to you guys uh, be for uh, giving us just a touch of funds to be able to pay for new equipment and just get the ball rolling on making this a real show. Hopefully next time we'll have mic stands, maybe, maybe not, who cares, uh, so we don't have to like move things constantly away from us all the time. Yep. There's one more thing i got to add. Dude, my arm is so tired <laughs> from <laughs> holding this from in holding one spot because this microphone rattles obnoxiously, like Paul pointed out earlier. Yeah, I moved my arm once, and it literally just destroyed your ears probably. So It, was, it wasn't too bad. It sounded more like a static pop, but nice. it, was, it was still wasn't good well, um, just because the mechanism is loose in there now. Elliot does have some good arms. Yeah, he's got some big, strong, beefy boy arms. He's great. He's great. The legs are even better, but... Mm. <coughs> all right we will catch you in the next episode thank you so much for listening have a good one bye